Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs uh, 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Genesis 42 verses 35 to 38. Here's the word of God. As they emptied their sacks, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when they and their father saw their bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob, their father, said to them, You have bereaved me of my children. Joseph is no more, and Simeon is no more. And now you would take Benjamin. All this has come against me. Then Reuben said to his father, Kill my two sons if I do not bring him back to you. Put him in my hands, and I will bring him back to you. But he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is the only one left. If harm should happen to him on the journey that you are to make, you would bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to Sheol. Genesis 42, 35-38. And here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. Jacob resists to let go of Benjamin. When Jacob saw the bundles of money given back to his sons, he became so fearful that he will lose his beloved son, Benjamin. He couldn't bear to lose his younger, youngest one after losing Joseph. Reuben dramatically offers his sons to appease his father. Here's my essay. This account is full of fear and high emotions. When Joseph had ordered to put bundles of money in their sacks, they had no idea he was their own brother. Imagine the terror and guilt they have felt knowing that God is punishing them for their plot to kill Joseph. <clears throat> Excuse me. They could have confessed at this time that Joseph wasn't killed by an animal, but sold to slavery. Jacob was so distressed and anxious that Benjamin, the only son he had by Rachel, would also be taken away from him. He believed the lie of his sons that Joseph was dead. And now it is unbearable to think of his beloved Benjamin also going to be gone. There was no mention of his concern for Simeon, who might be imprisoned. It apparently showed Jacob's love for his wife Rachel more than his other wife Leah, since Joseph and Benjamin were his sons by Rachel. He loved them more than all of his other children. Reuben's offered to kill his other two sons if he doesn't bring back Simeon and Benjamin to his father seems off. We witness Reuben's arrogance to offer the lives of his sons for something he has no control over. He is bargaining for appeasement of his father's fear and using his son's lives to do so shows foolish pride. Reflection Why can believing in lies keep us imprisoned in fear and distress? Well, we know that lies come from the devil. So when we believe the devil, we are going to be in confusion, chaos, and fear, and distress. But if we believe in the truth, we will have peace, joy, contentment. Uh, so it's the opposite of love. Fear is the opposite of love. It's not anger, it's not hate, it's fear that is the opposite of love. So when we are believing in lies, know that we are not in truth. So when we are not in truth, we are in fear. Truth is love, fear is confusion. So in this account, there's lie after lie after lie. They lied about um, killing, uh, about Joseph being killed by an animal. They lied about, you know, they were still lying when they could have said that, you know, at this time, because they have kept the life so long, it is very hard to undo it. So, <clears throat> unless there's a repentant heart and there is God that made them do so, they will still be living in that lie. So I encourage you to look at your life and see uh, what lies have been keeping you imprisoned uh, from fear and distress because these are the effects of sin. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos, give you the word of God. Have a blessed day.